Hello guys, I want to welcome you to le section session two of unit 26 uh, of the Gospel Project. We are moving into uh, really one of the most fascinating and to me one of the most exciting passages of scripture uh, of Jesus relating to people. Uh, you can find it in Mark chapter 12 verses 19 through 37. I, I'm not going to read it because you guys will be going over it in your classes, but I love this passage of scripture. I love it. I don't know if any of you have ever had a situation where somebody asked you a question that they knew you were going to get wrong. Or they asked you a question that they were trying to get you to slip up. Now, I've had it happen to me multiple times in my life, uh, both in ministry and outside of ministry. Uh, it happens a lot of times when you're coaching a team. Uh, a parent will ask you something that they're, they're upset about something and they're trying to get you to answer a certain way so that they can really, really get upset. And I don't know if any of you all have ever had anything like that happen before where you feel like there's just no real good way to answer. Uh, you know, Jesus had people constantly coming after him, constantly attacking him, and constantly making his life miserable or trying to. You can't really make Jesus' life miserable because he's God and he has a joyful perspective on everything. But in this one particular moment, and you're going to read about it today, these, these Sadducees, these Pharisees, they come to Jesus and they begin to question him uh, with some questions that really didn't matter. They, they weren't that important for what was going on at the time, um, but they, they, they acted like they were super important. Um, they, they had so much interest in what Jesus was going to say when in reality they were just trying to trip him up. But what's fascinating, what's amazing about it is that Jesus answers not only confidently, but Jesus answers with a knowledge and an authority of God's word and scripture uh, that kind of blows them away. It really, he shuts down the argument before it ever starts because of the authority with which he speaks. And as you guys talk about this encounter today and you talk about Jesus being questioned, what I, I hope you guys will gather, what I hope that you guys will recognize is that Jesus was not just a good man. Jesus was not just uh, a, a prophet. He wasn't just a nice guy. Jesus was God's son. Jesus is God. And he speaks with authority when he speaks. And so a response from Jesus, an answer from Jesus, a proclamation from Jesus, a, a directive from Jesus, literally any word from Jesus carries so much power, so much significance, and so much uh, potential impact on our lives that we need to make sure we hear everything he says every chance we get and know that he speaks from a place of great authority, and that authority is God's word. I hope you guys have a great discussion in your groups today. I hope that uh, you have a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys are doing well. I love you, and I can't wait to see you again.